It's a beautiful. Oh, I better not finish singing that because YouTube will be out to get me. <laughs> Take a look at all the fishermen out here catching the fresh fish for today. As I'm going into cons, they're going to be selling this fish on their carts laid up on ice. <laughs> I, I won't be eating any of that. You guys got to see this guy who invited me in for a swim. Look at this guy. He says, you want to you wanna get in? The water feels great. Dude, Miss Aurora is not with the motion of the ocean. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, you all know that I am Aurora Day, and this is the Secured Entrepreneur Movement. Hug your pets, people. You don't have a pet? Hug somebody else's. Okay, now, this is earlier than usual. All my 3 a.m.ers, please rise up because we've got a lot of work to do right now. So first, I want to say thank you to everyone who is continuing to email us here at info at auroradayconsulting.com. And you all have been, you know, bombarding us with your requests for your family trust right now, your living trust right now, because you're trying to decide what it is you're going to do with assets uh, temporarily as well as permanently, and you need to collateralize some, you know, and thank you so much for trusting us to help you protect and utilize your assets right now. So what I'm going to do is place a link here in the description box if you're watching on YouTube. I'll place a link above if you're watching this on Facebook, all right, so that you can uh, connect to speak specifically about setting those particular entities up and of course, for your businesses, there will be links down there as well. So, all right. Also, if you're calling, we really cannot get to all of the messages, unfortunately, at this time, uh, because of the demand for all of these entities. The post office is still open. Some packages, I have been able to call and get a pickup. That was very, very nice. Okay, and then others, uh, you know, I have to either go to the post office myself or Jessica will go. doesn't matter, but... Please email info at auroradayconsultant.com. That's going to be the fastest way for us to connect with one another. All right. So, so is working class life killing Americans? According to these two economists at Princeton, it is. All right. First, I want to say that since we all have been self-isolating to uh, decrease the spread of this virus, I have seen the happiest people I've ever met in my life. I am not kidding. When I'm outside with the little fur baby, I'm seeing my neighbors, they're out there smiling, laughing. Uh, you know, I've seen more dogs in the neighborhood. They're all out there with dogs. The children are on the swings, the sliding boards, okay? I was driving to the gas station the other day and several people, not one person, several people, one person honked the horn and started waving at me. Another person rolled down his little window and said, Hey there, young lady. I was like, what is going on? When I got to the store, I went to the gas station and the store. People were like, hey, how's everything going? You know, I hope you find everything. I mean, people were just being very, very nice. There is an overwhelming feeling of joy. There is a very high vibration. I want you all to tell Mr. Rora if you have been experiencing this, okay? People are so happy, and I'm beginning to believe that it that it's happening because they're not going to these particular jobs that they don't like, that they're not happy at. Now, the, this article, and I, I'm, I, I'm telling you, I'm going to share the link because this is just some astonishing um, research that that has been done. Um, they state in the research that a primary reason for these deaths of despair. That's what this writing is called. It's called Deaths of Despair and the Future of Capitalism. And, and one of the main things that they highlight that individuals, uh, mainly working class Americans, all right, are experiencing these deaths of despair because outsourcing has become the norm. And because outsourcing has become the norm, executives do not view these low wage earners as their equal. They are viewed as expenses, expenses that are expendable. Anyone can do your job. So you are made to know that you, you're, you're really not mm, valued. That's the word I'm going to, you're, you're, you're not valued by the company. So now that you are made to know and you feel that you are not valued, okay, 
you are going to get into some things that the ordinary individual would not get into. You may feel a, 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 a very vigorous feeling to, to invest in a firearm, okay? You may feel like now you need to begin drinking excessively or doing drugs excessively, okay? Because what they note in the research is that the death of despair is happening due to suicide by gun, alcohol, and despair, okay? So it's, it's really very interesting what I'm, what I'm talking to my neighbors about as it relates to how they feel about what it is that they do, okay? And a lot of people have said they don't feel like their position is anything that is helping anybody. It's, it's like crap work and that I'm going to, um, I'd replace the word that my neighbor said his job was, that he felt that way because, you know, it is stressful. And then for the amount of stress that he endures at that particular job, he does not feel that he is properly compensated. And he does not feel that he is made to feel like he's going to have a job tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so I want you all to let Mr. Rower know, have you been here? Have you experienced this? Do you know people who are experiencing this? Okay, and also, you know, how is it that this whole situation that the world is going through is setting people free. It is setting people free in so many ways. I don't even want to get into all of that in this video because, you know, we'll have to do it another time in any event. <laughs> this research was published by Ann Case and Agnes Deaton. They're the married couple who are the two economists, all right? They go on to state that Working life, working class Americans, their lives lack structure and meaning. Structure, status, and meaning is, is what I read in the article. That the working class American's life is lacking structure, status, and meaning. Now, when you feel like you are lacking structure, status, and meaning, these particular habits that they're pointing out and they're saying, okay, now, now, you know, you're, you're overcompensating, you're overeating, you're over drinking, you're over drugging, all right? So they point out that heart disease is another death of despair because these particular habits bring on the disease of the heart, okay? Now, we all know that, you know, when your heart is broken or when your heart is aching, not only are you having a whole lot of physical uh, problems, you're having emotional problems, you're having spiritual problems, okay, now you're going to, like they say, you're going to drink, you may be encouraged to, to, to invest in a firearm or weapon so that you can take yourself out of here, okay? You may be encouraged to now get on drugs, but the, but the attack of the heart is basically, you know, some of the things that are occurring as it relates to the, the death of despair uh, has to do with the overconsumption of these particular things, okay? They also go on to state that the working class American has a hard time socializing. And, and the working class American has a hard time socializing because of the mental and physical issues brought on by working life. And this is why you never know why a person is behaving the way that they are behaving or saying what it is that they're saying. They are so super stressed out and in a feeling of despair due to what's happening to them on their particular jobs, okay? The other thing, and I'm going to put the link in the box so that you can read this thing yourself because it's really mind-blowing. They also point out that 
a large part of the despair is that that's brought on for American workers has to do with the fact that many of them have they're 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 working for companies via a temporary agency. So what people in the past would feel as it relates to the loyalty to a company, you know, feeling well about getting up every day, going to this job and feeling appreciated. It, they are stripped of these feelings because they are temporary workers. They don't look forward to anything. They don't have any sense of security. Okay. So now what do, what do you want to do? You want to drink? <laughs> you want to take some type of drugs? <laughs> you might want to take on some extracurricular activities that, that would be out of the norm, okay? Because you don't have a sense of security. And then the result is some form of death that is brought on by despair. I want you all to tell Miss Aurora, <laughs> okay, what you think about. Now, if you read the article, they, they break this down via age, race. It is deep. It is hefty. I don't want to get into a lot of the, the things that they say about race. I'm going to leave that to you all because some of this stuff was so, I was in shock. I mean, you know that it's true. You know that it's true because maybe you've been there, your parents, your grandparents, your neighbors, family members, you know, you've seen it for yourself. But when you actually know that there is research, people have studied these things, it will blow your mind. And oh my goodness, I do not want to forget what they have to say about America's health care industry, America's health care system, okay? They point out that America by far has the most expensive health care system that acts like a tax to the working class American, all right? And it's failing to keep Americans healthy. Now, we already know that if you're working on one of these little temporary jobs or you're really not making enough money, you're not accepting the medical benefits at that job. You'd rather see some more money in your paycheck. So now you're not going regularly to get up, you know, your physicals, blood work, things like that. And when you start feeling certain ways, you're not going to be the first person to volunteer to go to the doctor's office or to the emergency room or to the urgent care because in your mind, well, you can't afford it because you know, if you ride the ambulance, that's one bill. You step inside the doctor's office, that's one bill. Okay. If the doctor touches you, that's another bill. If he administers anything, that's an additional bill. Okay. So this is all stressing you to have it out. Okay. I want you all to tell Miss Aurora, have you had these experiences? Have you really experienced this in your life? Okay. And I have some very, uh, you know, very, very wealthy uh, um, colleagues who own some large companies. And even they say they don't want to even, you know, they, they hate that they have to even offer all of this because they don't like that it's really not helping their employee. So they have implemented other programs for wellness. And I think that that's very important if you work for a large corporation that they do offer something for your wellness. Okay. So now what I want to say to the secured entrepreneurs here today, but before I get into that, the other thing that came to mind, and I was talking to someone about this yesterday, I want to just send a shout out to all the TSA workers. Okay. Lil King David is around here doing some crazy stuff. Um, because that is a high stress position, underpaid, overworked, okay? And then you don't even know what your schedule is going to be, okay, from, you know, quarter to quarter because they do this whole bidding thing. And then so sometimes you're working in the daytime, sometimes you're working in the evening. It, you, you don't know. So, so I was reminded of that as I was reading the research um, when they said that, you know, you're lacking the structure, it's hard to have structure in your life when you don't even know what your hours are going to be. And then, you know, I know some, some people who work construction. Well, sometimes they have something that they got to be working all night. And then sometimes they have something that they got to be working all morning. You know what I'm saying? So we want to, as secured entrepreneurs, to not only create environments for ourselves that do not bring on any type of death, uh, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, or financially, okay? But we want to create environments that actually help 
the individuals who assist us in, in being great, in serving with excellence, things of this nature, okay? So you all know that you can reach me, Aurora Day, at auroradayconsulting.com. Once again, all the links to everything uh, that's going on right now in this time, you can find in the description box. And please continue to email and you know, I'm reading all of your emails and I'm going to come back with a second video because I'm going to start answering all these emails. Okay. It, I got some juicy, juicy stuff. All right. So until next time.